justice is due. Update. Supporters demand justice in Washington, D.C. On March the 3rd, 2023, the family's attorney, Benjamin Crump, associate counselor, Susan Robinson, mom, sisters, and other supporters assembly, assembled in D.C. to demand a higher level of intervention for the justice of Shanquilla Robinson. They are requesting the intervention from President Biden, the State Department, and the Department of Justice to do what is necessary to bring the people causing St. Quilla's death to be held accountable for their actions. Co-Counselor Susan Robinson went to Mexico to investigate on the case. She visited a doctor that worked on Shanquilla, the Red Cross, the Attorney General's office, and other places to get updated information in regards to this case. She was advised that Mexico had made their decision on who killed Shanquilla, and their investigation is now completed. They have executed a warrant for a female and is currently waiting expedition. The ball is now in U.S. court, remarked Ms. Robinson. So the attorneys at this point is requesting a high-level investigation on this case from President Biden, the State Department, the Justice Department to, one, expedite the person to Mexico and or, number two, take jurisdiction of the case which Mexico has stated they are willing to give to U.S. for the justice of Shanquilla Robinson. According to Crump, it has been 125 days since the death of Shanquilla, which was reported on October 29, 2022, and justice has not been served. Crump states she was literally beat to death. Further, he states, the video clearly shows her attackers and evidence on the video crime you can actually see. According to Crump, it has been 125 days and no justice. Shanquilla Robinson was an entrepreneur, a hairstylist, ran a boutique, a kid's braider, and worked in the insurance company. She was only 25 years old at the time of her death. She traveled with friends, a.k.a. Carbo 6, to Carbo. They stayed in a luxury villa. She trusted these friends to the point of no return. But in return, they, someone, took her life while there. On November the 16, 2022, a video release was released showing Shanquilla being brutally attacked by one of her friends with bystanders watching. As a result of her attack, an injury sustained resulted in her death, reported on October 29, 2022 in Cabo, Mexico. Soon thereafter, Mexico issued a warrant for femicide, but has not been yet fulfilled. The family, friends, and supporters celebrated Shanquilla's birthday on January the 9th by releasing balloons at her resting site. She would have turned 26 years old. Justice for Shanquilla.